Welcome to my channel. Recently I've been using some software called Dehancer, which is in my opinion the best film simulation application currently available. This is a raw photo and I'm now going to apply some presets from Dehancer. I right click on the picture and I go edit in Dehancer Lightroom plugin. I'm told it's going to make a copy in TIFF format including all the Lightroom adjustments. I click on edit and up comes this screen. I'm going to choose Agfa, Agfa Color 100 here. I'm going to raise the brightness a little in the source channel. Then I'm going to adjust the white point. Bring that down just a little bit. And the black point to crush the shadows just a bit. Add a little bit of contrast. And there is a picture with colours from Agfa Colour 100, which hasn't been on sale for nearly 20 years. Here's a picture taken on an Olympus Micro Four Thirds digital camera. Let's apply a Kodachrome preset. As before, we go to the plugin. And as you scroll down, you can find lots of different presets. You can see Velvia 150, there's Instax, Kodak Aero Color, Kodak Ektar 25, and down here is Kodachrome 64. Let's just increase the exposure a little bit and change the black point. A tiny bit of contrast. Now you have the colours that you'd see in advertising photos taken using Kodak's most famous slide film back in the 1980s. There's the original and there's the Kodachrome version. There's a subscription code which will give you a discount if you wish to purchase it. I'll be up front and admit that I get a commission each time you use the discount code. Some film processes are not common anymore. For instance, here's a shot of some winter trees and I can apply an ambrotype preset. With a film emulator, you can apply the film look to photos that are harder to capture with film. If you're doing complex setups with flash, then you may not have the resource to develop test shots or use Polaroid backs, as was done back in the day. With a film simulator, you can get the film look as well as instant feedback on your setups. This photo was taken with two lights from behind the, the bottle and another from directly behind the bottle to bring out the colour of the beer. Let's try some presets. I very much like the Kodak Ektor 25 preset. I've managed to achieve a fairly complicated lighting setup there and I haven't had to test that with uh, test shots or Polaroid film backs. I can see it digitally in camera and then I can apply the film tones and colours later. This was shot with light bounce from the wall on the right and another flash bounced from the ceiling behind the subject. It took literally five minutes to set up and set the flash and exposure because I was using digital. Simple to get the exposure right so now let's have a look at it with a film preset. There's Agfa Colour. That's quite nice. Let's crush the blacks a little. There's the original and there's the film preset. If you want to see pictures taken on these older films, check out a website called Granary. Let's try Kodachrome 25. And there are some examples taken on Kodachrome. For this photo, I've chosen the Fujichrome Velvia 100 preset, and I'm going to look at another capability of Dehancer. In this case, it's an artifact called Halation. This is an artifact from old color movies. It's vastly reduced by anti-halation backings now. What used to happen was light would pass through all three layers of the film, and then some of it would be reflected back 
through the red layer. That would result with highlights that are softer and have a red tinge to the edge. To find out how this looks using Dehancer, let's zoom in a bit and we'll use the mask mode. And you can bring up the effect using the different sliders. And now let's have a look at what it looks like. Using the impact, you can control how strong that effect is. There are other artifacts available in Dehancer as well, such as Bloom, which mimics defects in older lenses, and also Film Grain. You've got a choice of Film Grain here. You can go for Analog, which is a lot more like Film Grain, or you can choose Digital, which is a bit more like what you got with uh, early 2000 digital cameras where you, when you set high ISO. The Dehancer blogs explain in detail every part of the settings for every single one of these film simulation tools. It explains all of the sliders in detail so you can understand really clearly what's being achieved in your photos. I'll give a link to the Dehancer blog so you can get all the information you need on using the different tools. Installing Dehancer is quite easy. You go to the download page and you click on here and it gives you a choice of uh, which host application, whether it's Resolve, Photoshop, Lightroom and so forth. You can look at the different operating systems. It supports Mac, Windows, even uh, Linux. You've got CentOS, Stream and Ubuntu. And then you choose which product you want. Once you've downloaded it, you can see there's a number of installers that you use. I'm using a Mac that's got an M2 chip, so I choose this installer here. The iPhone app is fantastic. It's great value. It's got all of the different tools that you, uh, you have on the uh, main application. You can see there, uh, I've just opened a picture that I took earlier today, and I'm choosing the Fujichrome Velvia. When you switch to Edit, you can see all the different sections down the bottom. There's Film Grain. You can see it's got all the different tabs there. And I'm going to reduce that. And then I just save it to the gallery. And then let's have a look at the results. Let's compare them side by side. The mobile app adds additional tools such as Gateweave and Film Breath. These are artifacts from the early days of cinema and you often see them digitally added to simulate home movies such as the opening credits in succession. Have a look through the blog and it explains exactly what they are and all of the different controls you can use to emulate that effect. Is Dehancer something that will replace film? Well no, of course it won't. You can't capture highlights the way that film does. Digital will always clip the highlights. Not all the films are available, such as Color Plus or HP5. I see it as a useful addition to my toolset. You can see older films that are no longer available, and you can apply film look to photos that are more economical to capture using digital. Try out the free version from the Dehancer website. If you like it, then make sure to use this discount code to save some money. Thanks very much. If you have any comments, please add them to the YouTube video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe.